And hello my fellow gamers, welcome back to the channel, I am Digital Spectre, and welcome back to Alan Week 2. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and continue right along where we left off last time. I made some unintentional progress, and uh, that's unfortunate, but hello again. And uh, murder I stepping to the murder site, I'd felt it hanging in the air. A meaning, the violent emotion of the act. Like a cloud of wrath, the dead eyes of the victim staring at something you couldn't see, and yet making you aware of it. Something had soaked into this place on a molecular level, overlapping with your meaningless existence. Overlapping. Regression to something you had managed to forget. Marking you. Taking you for a ride. Oh. Making you crazier. Hello, Max Payne. Once again, here I go with the Max Payne shit. That's Alex Casey, not Max Payne. Thank you very much. But it's hard not to draw the, you know, uh, similarities. The voice, the monologue, the uh, actual just overall look. Anyhow, you know, cop, detective, whatever. We're back. So, anyhow. Oh. Okay. The station had changed. Just brought me up. I was closer now. Cool. Um. So anyhow, yeah, I'm I'm gonna have to go back and play this on my own because I've made that unintentional progress. I wanna. I've already gotten this. I want to, uh, you know, see what uh. See what else is is there. And now there's, uh, I think, yesterday they updated it with like new game plus. And, I'm pretty sure there's some like additional scenes and things like that and a new ending so that should be interesting to see I'm curious I don't think um, I don't think any of that stuff is accessible in my first playthrough though so that's cool uh, let's go ahead and suck light and just continue on I guess Those TV screens are on Definitely. Alright, let's go up. So we're going to go to our old apartment with Alice. I think Alice is written on all the damn walls of the tower. Our home in New York. Was I really this close to being home? We are never out of your apartment. way. Would I be home? I or was this just an echo of the real thing? Highly doubt you'll be home. Even then, the murder site had brought me one step closer to escape. Well, all right, so we'll go ahead and save here, and we'll just check the map real quick. I'm pretty sure there's some stuff I missed up here as well, but that's okay. I'll just uh, go back and revisit in my own time. Um, we're just going to try and get through some of the story to get back to get, oh, hello, to get back to Saga. The payphone at the edge of the plaza was ringing again. Oh, cool. Let's go say hello. Don't write. There we go. Hey, Alan. Thank God it picked up. I thought I lost you again. Still here. Who are you? Why are you helping me? Did you go deeper? To the overlap? Are you talking about the murder site? I... Yeah, I, I did. I, I... That's fantastic, Alan. We're closer to getting out. We're making progress. I love that shot. That's so cool. We would be if you would answer my damn questions. Last time we spoke, you were pretty worried about Alice. Did you ever check Parliament Tower? To make sure she really got out of the dark place? Well, of course she got out. That's why I'm here. That's the whole goddamn point. Be yeah. very careful, Alan. The dark presence is stealing from you. It can already manifest as your double. Oh, shit. Wait, wait, hello? Fucking manifesting as my doppelbanger. Oh shit. Well, that's not good. Um, let's see. Yeah, so, um, Scratch is, so Scratch is manifesting as my double, which is the dark presence. Guess we'll just go to the tower. Yeah, so Alan Wake 2 won a few awards at the Game Awards, which I'm really happy for, I'm really happy for, uh, Sam Lake and the team at Remedy. They've done a fantastic job. This is... 
uh, easily becoming one of my favorite games ever. Time loses meaning here. How long have I been trying to escape? Long enough for us to think I'm dead. It's unfortunate that they uh, they pandered to Hollywood at the Game Awards and ran all the winners off the stage so quickly. They didn't really get to celebrate their win too much. Um, that kind of bugged me. But um, I'm very happy that they won awards. It's well deserved. Well deserved. This is a unique fucking game. Maybe he was a victim. A writer. Maybe he was a victim. The cult using his words. Or maybe he was the monster behind it all. Either way, Alice Wake, his ex, she knew things. It was there in her art for all to see. A cry for help. The darkness she'd witnessed. And that put her in danger. Was Alice here? In the story? So I need to pay attention more as well because um, whenever they're in Cauldron Lake, Casey and uh, Saga, I think Casey... Oh shit. <laughs> Casey was, you know, investigating Alan's disappearance in New York, and he talked about the cult being there as well. Um, so I don't think, uh, I don't think Alan is exactly writing a story um, in Cauldron Lake. I think it's just there were more murders there that resembled what was going on with Alan. But, you know, I could be entirely wrong. Some of this shit might be going over my head just because I'm trying to commentate at the same time. Which is... Ooh, ooh, she's... Okay. Which is a high possibility haunting. Initiation 3. Alice's photo equipment. Set to go off when the door opens. Why? Like catching candid shots of me and this seems like a a lot of <laughs> a lot of work Get out! Leave me alone! Alice? Alice Alice Okay She is not here Ooh. Alice Hello Alice This is a photo of scratch No Where did Alice get this is he stalking her? Yeah, probably. So whenever the loading screen comes up and it shows Alan's screaming face, that's not Alan, that's Scratch. Uh, pick photos for exhibition poster. Okay. Interesting. Very well. Dearest wife, I have come home after so many years. I am... Uh... This is the door to my study. Where I wrote my books. The symbol wasn't here before. The spiral? Well, hey, I mean... At least you got plenty of time to write more books, I guess. Alice's video camera. No memory card inside. Okay, gotta find a memory card. Copy that. Video art doc on screens. Focal point of the dark place. What do we have here? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I need to try and pay more attention, but it's it's hard to not miss things, you know. Whenever I'm talking at the same time. Part one. Here we are. Part one. What was Alice working on? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's toss it in the memory car. Um, came out a camera video. I can't speak. <laughs> the video camera. Okay, nothing else over here. Let's just go ahead and. Pop it in. See what see what comes up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, hello, Alice. How are you? My darling wife. Dearest wife of mine. When I was younger, photography was everything. To Look at me. that. That's cool. Holy shit. I moved to New York thinking I'd make it as an artist. Wife. And then I met Alan. We had a good thing. We were both dedicated by our creative ambitions. Mm -hmm. The only difference was that Alan's work made money. He brought me work when he could. I 
took his promo shots. Um, Be a cool screenshot. Covers for his books. I'm sure he forced his publisher into it. Nah, you're just good. I was taking photos, just not my photos. And that nod at me. Things got complicated sometimes, but that's life, right? We loved each other. Then, uh, Alan hit a block. It happens. I brought out a meaner side of him. It happens. One I didn't like. I set up a trip to see a doctor in Washington. I didn't tell him until we got there. Oh. <laughs> we right. argued. Things went wrong. Penny was just gone. Not the best idea. Drowned, allegedly. To do that to someone against their will, you know. It's easy for people to think it was my fault. I'm still Hell, here. I do, too, sometimes. Oh, I'm still here, wife. Don't cry. Don't cry for me. Argentina. About six years ago, I started hearing noises in the night. Scratch. Scratches? Typewriter keys clacking. Voices. Alan was back. Haunting me. It's not Alan. He wouldn't do that to you. Oh, the light flickering? Good actors. He always did have anger in him. Good acting, for sure. I appreciate that. I set up cameras around the apartment. With motion sensors and flashes. Oh, okay, so that's why. Now, when the monster comes, I turn it into art. Oh. My nightmares caught on film. That's how she got the photo. And this is the focus of my new exhibition. Nightmares? Lights flickering, it is, yeah. Alice. Whoa. Scratch was terrorizing her. Why? Damn. Shit. Um, yeah, this is such a cool fucking game. Oh, shit. Whoa, that's fucking insane. Shit, more live action. I sat in the writer's room and wrote a story. Initiation. To project myself through the dark place. To look for a way out. The story had brought me here, brought me nowhere. Loop me back. I was writing this story. And in the story, I now stepped into the writer's room. But there was no one here writing. Oh, shit. was quick. Yeah, let's keep on going for a little while longer. I've only been recording for like 20 minutes. <clears throat> let's get back to Saga. How's it going, Saga?
Okay, let's recap what you've told us so far, Ellen. For the past 13 years, you've been trapped in a nightmare dimension called the Dark Place. Yeah. It's like New York, but it's not New York. And can be reached from the bottom of Cauldron Lake, but it's not really under the lake. And after all this time, you've managed <laughs> to get nice. out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like, this is but bullshit. But so has your evil doppelganger. Mr. Scratch? Or is it the Dark Presence? Both. It's interchangeable. He's Scratch when he looks like me, but he can change into this other form. And Scratch, the Dark Presence, wants to rewrite the world in his own image. Which would be in your image. As he looks just like you. And turn the world into a fucking nightmare. During Deerfest, which is scheduled to take place in a couple of days. You got out of the dark place by writing a novel, the pages we've been finding. But your double edited it into a horror story that's now changing reality, taking over people, yeah. making them crazy, bringing the dark place to Bright Falls. Yes, fiction coming in contact with the dark place can change reality. The story is coming true, soaking into everything, like, like, like darkness when it, when night falls. But last time, it, this will be back in 2010. Yes, last time it didn't happen all at once. The story came true bit by bit as it unfolded, and that dark presence was still bound to the lake. Not anymore. I stopped it before it got the ending it wanted, before it broke free. Based on that, there's still time. Which brings us to your magical light switch. The clicker. Magical doesn't quite cover it. Scratch wants it to bring about his ending. That, that can't happen. If I can get the clicker, I, I can send him back to the dark place, make all the shit go away. I... Look, I know it's batshit crazy. My memory is it's full of holes, and I, I'm not sure how much I can trust. It, it's like it's like it's like a half-forgotten dream. Hello, dear. <laughs> I love their Mr. synchronized Wake. coffee sips. Alan. We've seen our share of that shit crazy in the past 24 hours. What I want to know is, why am I? Why are we written into the story? I think I saw you. Or a vision of you. She, in a dark place. She can help. I think you helped me reach out and escape somehow. With that in the story, Scratch would have edited it to get to you. To hurt you. We are all in danger. Well. <clears throat> this is what's crazy to me. Is. <laughs> it's insane. And there's so much of it. Is they don't have to game a uh, game gaming award shows do not have to pander to Hollywood because games in general make millions upon millions of dollars more than Hollywood makes. It's like why uh, pander to a medium that this this medium outshines? You know what I mean? It's like it shows what can be done. You know that that uh, Hollywood can't do. It deserves its it deserves its place, and I don't know why those award shows think that is a good idea for to bring up fucking actors and things like that on stage that have no real connection to this kind of medium. And uh, you know, and you can tell it shows; it's obvious, and it's like you don't need Hollywood actors to uh to be in your video games to make them good you know what i mean like voice actors uh on their own deserve more recognition and there deserves to be more than just a few voice actors at the forefront of the fucking of the uh of the medium like i know you know like there's troy baker he like uh he's in almost everything you can think of 
and there's so many more talented people out there. But I'm not saying Troy Baker isn't talented because he is very talented. But, um, you know, there needs to be some kind of, I don't know, equal opportunity for other voice actors. Because uh, it's it's also a, a uh, an art form that gets outshined by a lot of things as well. I don't know, which I'm, I'm, I'm thankful that, you know, these people, uh, voice acting in this game, aren't exactly, you know, big on-screen actors or anything like that. I don't know. I'll always rant about this, especially for something as brilliant as this game is. Um, and never expected to get a sequel to. So, anyhow, uh, I'm done ranting for now. Let's talk to Alan about the cult. Have you ever heard of the cult of the tree? Creepy bunch. In the habit of wearing deer masks, performing murder rituals, victims turning into monsters possessed by darkness, possibly inspired by a horror story written by a certain author. Hmm? Ring any bells? The cult. Yes. Yes. They have the clicker. If the cult has the clicker, does that make them scratch his followers? How are you so certain they even have the clicker? They could be working for Scratch. I, I don't remember. It's all confused. Alan, if I'm going to act on this information, you need to be honest with me. Yeah, of course. Is he confused? Or is he hiding something? Let's find out. Wake said the cult has the clicker. How does he know? The writer is the reader. The next chapter, the next chapter, the next chapter. Oops. Keep the pages safe, the dark shining of the words. Wake is hiding pages. That's how he knows the cult has the clicker. Hiding them from Scratch. Wake has a double. Mr. Scratch. Where is he now? A cloud of wrath wears my face. The dark place in your place. Scratching out my body of work. Scratch is here. In Washington. He's hunting Wake. He's come back. And he's not bound by the lake any Scratch longer. Scratch looks just like Wake. Why? Don't wake up the dreamer if your life is a dream. I swam to the shore, but the water is rising. Wake and Scratch are clearly connected. Maybe Scratch got out because Wake did. Or vice versa. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's check out the case board real quick. And we'll go... Actually, let's go ahead and toss this on the... Wake just gave us a lot of information. On the board. But this clicker seems like a good place to start. If we find that, then we find the cult. I probably just have to look around. They're... they're here. Okay. Got that. Cult of the tree. Cult could be followers of Scratch. They have the clicker, after all. Would that be psychology? No? Goal? Yeah. Alright. The story. The pages we've been finding are from a horror story called Return, written by Alan Wake. Oh God. And the contents of this book are coming true. I definitely don't have Why all of those. Why it have been a romance? <laughs> romance, eh? Let's see. How does story change reality? Rules the dark place. There's an entity inside the dark place called the Dark <sighs> Presence. Oh, okay. Let's see. Uh, Wake, in the form of Scratch, the Dark Presence is editing Wake's story. Wants to turn the world into a fucking nightmare. Rules. No? Oh, over here. Dark Presence. What does that say? Okay, well, obviously can't let that happen. <laughs> Flashlight seems to weaken. Oh. Taken. That's... Light and the Dark Presence. Okay, so I'm just uncovering stuff. Well, lit areas are safe. Yeah, yeah. 
Scratch and the Dark Presence are interchangeable. Wake was trapped in the dark place for 13 years. Pop that there. Fiction coming in contact with the dark place has the power to change reality. So whatever you write in the dark place becomes reality. It can't be that simple. Story changes are reality bit by bit. The process is gradual. How to stop the story. Gotta get the clicker before Scratch. The story can be changed. Scratch will be sent back. Okay. Dark place merged with ours. This place in the dark place. The page called this area. Okay. Dark place. The overlap. The page describes the overlap. I enter the cauldron like overlap. How to enter. Local legend. And that's for later. Okay. Well. I think, uh. We've got 10 pages. Let's see. Nothing. Can't, can't do anything here yet. All right. Let's hop back out. You're hiding okay. pages. Mr. Wig, I know you have more pages of the manuscript on you. You don't understand how vital these pages are. They're the only way I can know what's coming. You're not the only one trying to solve this. This is our job. Okay. Here. This is all I have. Be careful with them. No. Oh. Thank you. Inside the trailer, at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time, in the hands of the cult of the tree. A cultist stared at her. She drew her weapon. Hmm, okay. We'll go back in. Cool. The cult of the tree has the clicker Wake told me about. They're a part of all this. Trailer near Watery. Okay. It's all on the page. The clicker. The cult. Okay. I'll head to Watery and find this trailer. Casey, you stay here and keep an eye on Mr. Wake. Got it. No! You need me there! No dice, pal. This is an FBI investigation, and I don't see a badge on that flannel. <laughs> flannel. You can switch between Alan and Saga's stories via the bucket in the janitor's break room. Feel free to play in whatever order you choose. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay. Whoa, that's fucking cool. Gnarly. This is dope. Okay, but I I, I kind of want to run around as Saga for a sec. We're back, right? You know? Let's see. You wrote these pages in the dark place. So why are we finding them here? I think I wrote them up. I remember writing an endless amount of pages. When this happened before, the, the pages were being sent from the dark place to help me. Maybe the same thing is happening here. That's all for now, Mr. Wake. Thank you. Oh. All right. Let's see. We got some extra stuff here. Remembers writing many pages while in the dark place. Writing part of a ritual. All right, Wake. Appreciate it, pal. Uh. Let's see. All right. So, trailer. I guess we got to go back. Oh, gotta listen to it. Works. You're a civilian, and we don't do ride-alongs. And if Scratch is after you, then so is the cult. We don't know who we can trust here. Damn it, you are making a mistake. Mm-hmm, I'll be sure to add that to the list. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Hi, welcome. Okay, past favorite deer fest floats. Go. Hey, guys. You happen to be in the woods killing people and uh, stuff? Stuff moose and squirrels one. No, 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 
Take a sip of our Oh Dear Diner organic coffee and let the adventure begin. This dude in a beard and a fake beard. <laughs> Ride the Espresso Express. Hold on for dear life on the Espresso Express. Oh. This is absurd. Again, <laughs> some local history at the Huatari Well. Huatari. Two serial killers Huatari. once hid the disemboweled bodies of their murder victims. Uh, it's not a haunted. <laughs> Come join Mocha Moose and the goats at our amusement park petting zoo. Just don't share your coffee with the goats. Amusement. <laughs> Seriously, stop feeding our goats coffee. Seriously. It's not amusing. <laughs> amusing. Take in amazing news from the slow roaster of Ferris Wheel. I can almost see the Warrior Lighthouse trailer park. This is so much fun! And finish off at our beautiful gift shop where seniors and children under 10 receive a 9% discount on keychains and propane tanks! Welcome to Coffee World! We guarantee you'll jaw a great time! My god. Where the fun is percolating. This is the third oh, time boy. I've requested something be done about the TV in my room. Nope. It keeps going on by itself. We've got a Kevin. It's keeping me awake all night. Yes, sir. I'm terribly sorry. Still got a great uh, beard, my dude. I love it. Called a professional electrician. In the meantime, have you tried unplugging the TV for the night? Oh, oh, there's an idea, Einstein. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna, <laughs> not gonna sit here and listen. To, I'm gonna explore this though. Some of this, 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 this was flooded last time, so oh, it's still fucking flooded. God damn it! I thought the flood receded. Just in the lake area? Okay. Wait, can I... Oh, I can go to water. I can go to Cauldron Lake as well, though. Interesting. Okay. Well, uh... Still can't go into any of these areas. That's unfortunate. Yako. We are going to Akuga's house Yako. to drink some brewskis. Are you coming? Oh my god. Another no. one. <laughs> I'm very busy wearing a turtleneck and drinking wine. Like an asshole. <laughs> oh dear, I know what Yako needs. I like oh, turtlenecks, man. Rescue. Bring out your inner Wolverine with I'm a beer. Wow, this is the best party ever. Thanks, I'm a beer. Alma beer is a traditional Finnish lager, and we drink it the Finnish way. At the bar, while actively avoiding small talk with strangers. <laughs> Getting blackout drunk on a boat during midsummer, and yeah, trying not awesome. to drown. In the sauna, using your beer can to hide your pippeli from wandering eyes. Partaking in the Finnish tradition of kalsarikämmit. Drinking at home alone in your underwear with no intentions of going out. It's not sad if it's intentional. Alma beer, your finished drinking adventure starts here. Oh man, unleash your inner Wolverine. Hey, how you doing? Sorry if you guys don't want to watch that stuff, but I, I, I need to show it. They, they, they did, they did some, some work on this, you know. Welcome it's, to the Oh Dear Diner. I've already been I here. Still out. Anything you. extra here? She's gone missing. Hi. Sure. You're standing Sorry. very straight. Thornton told everyone to stay out of the basement. I'm a lovely and person. now there's nowhere to be found. Oh. Who oh, should? Trying to get out of work. They disappeared. The worst of our colleagues. Yeah. God forbid. Uh-oh. I can't force it open. I oh, can't go back down there. Oh goddamn, they're gone. Okay, well, we're just going to go to Watery. Let's go to Watery. See if the audio syncs. Nope, out of sync. Out of sync again. Yeah, Anderson, I didn't want to say this in front of Wake, but... No, never mind. Are you sure this is a good idea? Going on your own? Assuming we believe the page, I need to check this out. We need to find the cult. Anyone we meet here could be a member. And this scratch guy. D 
the evil doppelganger? It must be true, or else this guy can't write for shit. The quality of his writing aside, if this page turns out to be true like the rest have, this could be a breakthrough. We might solve this thing before a backup even arrives. Yeah, they're taking their time, so just be careful out there. Meanwhile, I think me and Wake will have a chat. Maybe I can shake something loose. Okay. But remember what happened with the salt shaker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, real funny. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> the page placed me in a trailer somewhere in Watery. Uh, I should ask around. Like local girl. Good lord, am I in fucking Silent Hill? Holy shit. Man, this is fucking awesome looking. Holy shit. Weather really changed, did it end? Okay. Well, you know me, I gotta spelunk the first. Flooding is even worse here. Oh, never mind, I guess I'm not gonna spelunk. More like underwatery. <laughs> I'll have to tell Casey that one later. Zing! Nice one, Saga. I'm sure he'll hey, like it. What did you used to say your dream job was as a kid? Brain surgeon. I bet it wasn't dock worker. I don't know about but I, uh, I've got tremors, but so wouldn't be too good are the devil's playground. for me to do that. Well, us fishing types appreciate you all, at least. And, uh, <clears throat> now, yeah, my, my dream as a kid was to be a brain surgeon for some weird reason. And now, <laughs> I'm not even close to doing anything like that. time gone? There's just a wretched husk of what used Beachy. to be me left. Wheel, wheel, wheel. Um, yeah. So, you know, but on top of that, I have tremors. So I wouldn't have passed any kind of test to do that anyway. And watery's definitely watery. <laughs> watery's definitely watery. But um, yeah. Um. Good to see you. Hi. Hey. Uh, you. You look familiar. Does your brother work at the lodge? Samey's catch of the day. I bet they have good fish here. Fresh out of Cauldron Lake. I'm just gonna explore. Of course, stairs are out. Hi. How you doing? Bell or Center? Mayor Seta will stand up for justice. He won't set. He will stand. A vote for Mayor Seta is a vote for everyone. For watery. Hi. Bunch of bikers in this town, huh? Yarvin Zinvini. Okay. Hi. Let me go in here real quick. Oh, hell yeah. Oh! It's Adi! He's in, what the fuck? Okay then. Catchy tune. This shit is so wild. Hell yeah, this is awesome. Tom the Poet. Tom. Terrifying like stranger dive into the dark depths of an artist's mind. Pin prick of light in an ocean of darkness. Oh shit. Based on the novel. That's why he's calling me Tom. Discussing Zane's early career in Finland, his artist commune in Bright Falls, his lost work, Tom the Poet, his mysterious disappearance in 1970, playing his own dark double in his films, The Poet, The Writer, The Diver, Thomas the Rhymer. <laughs> what the fuck? 24th of November 2023. The Doc Poldanga. In the art and life of Thomas. Guest lecture. Wow. Interesting. My dude, you are killing it, dude. Hell yeah, this is awesome. Lumi Mert. Wonder if this is like developers. Moose Fest. Moose Fest. Oh, got a deer fest and a moose fest. Coffee World. It's an amusement park. Ilmo talking about the coffee world. 
Ooh. Honoree's own Nessie. I love cryptids. Sasquatch is one of my favorite cryptids, but my favorite cryptid is Mothman. Really enjoy the mythos and the uh, the book by John Keel. Excuse me. Do you not wait? in the middle of a show. Oh. I wonder if I'm the first FBI agent to ever get shushed. It's you. Hi. Wait. How do you know me? Who are you? Hell yeah. Okay. Well, Ati, you you rock, my dude. Can I go in here? Mm. Oh, hey, look, a safe place. Nice. Oh shit. I can uh, switch realities everywhere or anywhere there's a janitor. Oh, hey, look, a deer. I feel bad for these guys. It's counting down for all the deer I pet. I think I had like 11 more last time I checked. Ati, you keep on keeping on, my guy. Ooh, a map. Nice, watery map. Very watery is very watery. Coffee World is over there. I can't go to Coffee World just yet. That's unfortunate. Hey, buddy. Uh, let's talk. Hello. Do you have a second? Valhalla Nursing Home. Ah, long time and no see, Miss Anderson. Tor and Odin are not here. The Russian They're, dude? Uh, old tricksters always sneaking off. Oh, those dudes. Sorry. No, I, I wanted to ask Coconut you about guys. something else. Can you point me to any trailers around here? Sure. Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park. You know, Koskela owns it. Okay. Owns many things in town. And where is Ilmo? I saw Ilmo and his brother at the bridge. Well, what used to be the bridge. Fucking Silent Hill, man. Do you live around here? I live in Bright Falls. You've seen me around. I am Mr. Blum. Hi, Mr. You Blum. You call me Vladimir. You Vladimir I work at the nursing Blum. Home. I take care of your old people. We are on day trip, music, sauna, the good times. Ah. I bring them here in the bus. Nice. The elderly are very important. And it's a very nice bus. Thanks. Appreciate it, Mr. Blum. You're a good guy. Bringing him to come listen to Ati. Nice. Okay. Well. Oh, you rascal. What have you been up to this time around? There's only so many times I can keep fixing the same hole. Yeah. Okay. Well. Let's uh, continue along. I wish they'd let me drive in between these places. I know you could drive in the first Alan Wake. Um, so far the first Alan Wake seemed a little bit more open than this one, which is interesting. But, uh, technically everything else in this one is, uh, leaps and bounds better than the original. Than the first one. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna go that way just yet. I'm gonna go over here. A trailer park. Ilmo Koskela. Actually. He's that tour guide we met at Cauldron Lake. Yes, he is. I need to find him. Mom's family was from Sweden. I've always imagined it kind of like this. Well, he was from Finland. Saunas, lakes. Seems nice. Hey, buddy. Enjoying the sauna? You bet. Yes, you The steam is amazing on my creaky old joints. I have to keep that in mind. waiting for Ati to wrap up his show so we can crack open some beers. I've read that taking a sauna oh, yeah. is good for preventing dementia. Yeah, and so is beer. <laughs> My dude is, uh, fucking living it up. Ever heard of the cult of the tree? The half deer, half man monsters? Oh, sure I've heard of them. They're the reason I can't risk taking walks in the forest anymore. That sucks. If one of them shows up, Just that how or am I supposed to get away? In fact, you got crutches. I can't run with a bad hip. I'd be killed for sure. I could maybe use my crutches to defend myself. I'm going, uh, I doubt Do it. you think that'd work? What's up You're with your the knee? Probably smart just to stay in the sauna for now. Probably. Enjoy your time, my dude. Um, what, what time you've got left. Get my feet wet a little bit. Is there... No? A couple of more old guys enjoying... Hey, the... A sauna doesn't fix what ails ya. 
You're a goner. They also say silence is golden. <laughs> okay. You guys enjoy hanging out. Woo. Oh, figures. Nothing in it. Aha! Well, I'll take those. Thank you. Oof. Hot. Oh. Like, actually in the sauna. Nice. Well. No sense in being in here. Alright, old dudes. Enjoy your, uh, sweat lodge. I'm gonna go talk to Elmo. Ilmo. Whatever his name is. Ilmo. Not Elmo. Definitely not Elmo. Alright. Elmo. Ilmo. Hey, keep, call keep calling him Over Elmo. Here. There's uh, Elmo. How you doing, Ilmo? How's it going? You and your bro? Hanging out? What's up, my dudes? Hey, Ilmo. How did your walk in the woods with Steven go? Another satisfied customer. I just hope he remembers to write a good review on the webpage. Great to see you back in Watery Saga. Everyone in town missed you. <laughs> Super nice to see you again, Saga. Missed me? They act like they've known me for years. I know, that's what this I'm saying. This keeps happening. Very weird. Are you familiar with the cult of the tree? Yeah, we always thought it was an urban legend. Not so it's much anymore. It's creepy symbols to scare each other, but uh, now it's gotten pretty damn real, huh? It's terrible what happened. We're all in shock. Well... We're looking into it, hoping to get things back to normal soon. We're all for that. <laughs> as normal as it ever gets around here. Stormy hiking trail. You own the trailer park, right? Mind if I take a look inside? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the owner of the watery lighthouse trailer park, me, can help you with that. It's good to have our funniest resident back. Resident? I don't understand what you mean. If this is your way of getting out of any outstanding bills, don't worry. They've been handled. This must is... be hard coming back to where you and your little girl lived. It's like they remember a different reality. Yeah. Is the horror oh, story shit. messing with their memories? Seems like it. So what is Coffee World? You mean you haven't seen our commercial for Oh, shit, it? I can profile them. Okay. Coffee World is a I have seen the fucking commercials, damn it. Fun. We even had a real moose. Until recently. Whoa. Oh, it's rides over there, Plus, I assume. right next to Coffee World is the workshop of our own Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club. We're busy Kalevala. building the uh, floats for Deerfest. Don't go peeking, though. <laughs> you know, we're saving the big reveal for Deerfest. Oh, of course. I wonder. Actually, let me go do this quick. Elmo thinks the cult is just an urban legend. Or does he? There are things that go bump in the night. It's all true. It's all true. Sound the alarm, brother. What the fuck? Gather the troops. Brother. Yako. The shadow of the forest is creeping closer. They don't think it's an urban legend at all. They understand it's dangerous. And fucking bikers going to war with them? That'd be cool. Ilmo made it sound like I lived here. Does he really believe that? Light, laughter, and love will guide you home. Live, laugh, love. Saga and her daughter. Oh boy. Happy faces raise property value. Family comes first, Ilmo. We take care of her trailer while she's gone. I do believe it. She's one of us, Yako. Her spare key is safe and sound. The Koskala brothers have happy memories of me living here. This must be the story affecting them. Yeah. I'll play along for now. Memory. I need the key to that trailer. It's been planted in their fucking brain. Oh, okay. At the Yotonyo. Fact the fiction. Wakes says a story Damn. will change reality around us. Fucking... If that's true, Words. then I need to know Open. what's real and what's fiction. Happy that. All right, buddy. So, your commercials? They're more than commercial saga. Our goal is to both entertain and educate local viewers about me, the fine products sure. and services we provide. And uh, 
Yako here really comes alive in front of the camera. Oh, yeah. Really? Fuck off. <laughs> I'm just there for the free beer. Not sure what Ilmos' excuse is. Hey, I'm writer, producer, co-lead, director. Do yourself a favor and uh, check them all out. I'm trying, buddy. All joking aside, yes, I would like to see my trailer. Do you have a spare set of keys? Good for you. Yeah, I have a spare set. They're just over at Coffee World. I'll get them for you, but Yaku and I have to head to Bright Falls. The spare keys are in the gift shop safe. I'll call ahead and uh, have someone get them out for you. Oh, the road's flooded. But if you just follow this trail behind me, it'll lead you there. Appreciate that. Call the gift shop so they can give Saga a hand. Thanks, Ilmo. Yeah. You guys are uh, great. Yako, thank you, Yako. Kalabala. All right. Guess they're busy. Oi, Vito, Vito. Well, Vito, Vito. after they finally pick up, we really need to get over to Bright Falls for that uh, thing. Hmm. Yep. That Must thing. Be busy at the park. What do you guys? These are all peak yeah. hours, Yako. They're just slacking. I'll go. I'll go. All right, don't worry about it, guys. I'll go. Uh, let's see. I'll go here. The Coscalas think I lived in the trailer park. With Logan. The story really is changing people's memories. Yeah. Why aren't mine affected? I don't know. Good question. The spare key is a coffee world. First the witch is at the diner. Now the Coscalas. They all think Logan and I used to live here. Wake said the horror story would make people crazy. Like they're being brainwashed to believe the story. Seems Is like it spreading? A... There's Coffee World. Scratch. Need to get across the river. Scratch is spreading. Scratch is spreading lies. Okay. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Well, hello. Thank you. I'll take that. On the lookout for any woven uh, goodies so I can have... Oh. Pull the gun out again. Um, so I can uh, get more lunch boxes and shit. Oh. What was that? Yeah, I. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Pop a, pop a pill. Oh boy. Buddy. Fuck. Oh shit. Fuckers are throwing axes. Hi. Whoa. FBI, show yourself. What the fuck? Fucking Barry Allen out here. The Ferris wheel in the distance looks cool. Hello? Hi, buddy. How's it going? I see you up there. I get re ready to double tap S. Oh shit. These fuckers are everywhere. Oh boy. Oh, he's already. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Okay. More people turning into Taken. How's it going, pal? Is this the cult? Shot you in your ear. Or the story. Or both. I mean... I don't know. Oh. Let's see. I wonder if this is a way across the river. God damn. Oh shit. This place is fucking huge. Okay. Fucking carnival in the distance. Not creepy. All right, three pulls. Ought to do it. Nothing. Okay. Well, perfect. Ooh. Another one of those cult boxes. What's this one say? Hey, if you take the crossbow out, put it back in the stash when you're done. P.S. I changed the code. As asked. Oh. Okay. Don't know the code just yet. 
Assuming it has something to do with this. I don't know what the code is. Oh. Whoa. Uh, that's not creepy. God damn, this looks cool. Alright. Let's see. Yeah, there is way too many fucking places to hide. I don't know where the fuck to find that code. Let's see, where does this lead? Hey, buddy. Go on. What you got there? Parade. Floats. God damn, I suck. I'm so bad at games. You got something in your backpack? Jesus Christ. Okay, so that is the way, I think, to cross the fucking river. Okay, let's go back for a second. This is not good. Holy shit. Oh, hey, look at there. Convenient. Thank God for that. Okay. I don't want to heal. Let's go up. Keep the light out just in case we can find any arrows. Oh, oh. Here we go. Where's the lunchbox? Got in here. Fucking Picnic area. And there's a lunchbox. Or nine mil, I'll take it. Hi, where's the box? More of those kids' lunch boxes. Hi, hi. I lowered my rifle standing on the car's roof. I looked out on the carnage. The zombies had almost won, but luckily I was here. Heroes are sometimes the people we least expect them to be. Now my town was finally safe, thanks to me. Slung the hot piece of iron over my shoulder one more time, hopefully for the last time. The townspeople cautiously emerging from their hiding places surveyed the same carnage I saw and cheered my name, and I waved and they cheered again. Now I could finally get back to my quiet, unassuming life, reading books and gardening and fiber crafts. Gardening and fiber crafts and being the world's top mycology expert. Suddenly a hand seized my wrist. I looked into the eyes of the sweet, sensitive writer I had known since childhood. A smile spread across his beautiful, kind face, and I felt at peace for the first time since the zombies had first emerged. You did it. I knew you could. Now we can live in peace together for the rest of our days. Uh, right. Ooh. I wonder if I could take the dive. <laughs> I'm curious. Can I climb this? Point to this? I can't. Okay. Let's go down. It's dark in here. Okay. Oh. Another cult stash? Nice. This one is just Simon. Okay. Thank you. Muchly. Appreciate that. I found another dead taken over by the radio tower. It looked like it was bashed to death. There was a lunchbox and some weird knitting by the corpse, too. I took care of the body, but that's the third one this month. Everyone keep your eyes peeled. We need to find this guy and let him know the cult of the tree means business. Okay. So that's a stash. Another rhyme. This is control. Uh, yeah, control stuff. Ooh, moose doll. Ooh, another uh, moose and a deer doll. Okay. One. The gentle beast with a beautiful crown runs through the woods with a worried frown from the hunter he flees between the mighty trees to make it out alive. Uh, moose? Okay. Ah. Uh... Hello? The fuck? 
Is it back this way somewhere? Oh, Jesus. Hi. How's it going? This is ridiculous. <laughs> What's going on, Moose Man? A charm. That was another one of those... Oop, shit. Breaks on death charms, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Alright. Let's climb back up. There's any hints? Oh, let's see. Two, five, seven, I'm, I'm guessing. Oh, no, five. No, ooh, didn't mean to do that. So it'd be five, two, seven. Since the arrows are in it. Five, two, two, seven. Yep, okay. Here's the arrows. Oh shit. If you aren't wearing the mask, this does not belong to you. Ah oh, shit. Alright, hang on. Let me go drop something in the uh, shoe box. There we go. Nice. Oh shit. Can I just take these? Nice. Cool. I'm full uh, inventory again. Let's see. I keep doing that. Let's see. Let's quick slot this to three, I guess. Sure. Yeah, all right. Hey, dude, I'm fucking Daryl Dixon now. All right. We got that. Let's run down to the river then. Oh boy. All right. Heading out. Nice waterfall. Very scenic. It's a lovely area to be in. Ooh. Uh, a lunchbox nearby. Oh. Shit, okay. Sure. And another lunchbox. Indeed. Hi, hero. I think a few pieces of paper from my private fan fiction project got mixed into some of these stashes, but I don't know which ones. I posted some online and they're getting pretty good reviews, but I'd appreciate it if you didn't read them. It's a privacy thing. Oh, I think I already did. My fault. Oh shit, that's flooded. Okay. Fan fiction, huh? Privacy thing. Well, you know... I, uh... Sorry, buddy. I think I already read some of your fan fiction. Like the one that I just fucking... Hello, Crow? The one that I just read. Fishing hole? I have a feeling I'm gonna need fucking flares in here. Why don't I do this? Let's quick slot this to four. Four. I'm also quick slot the bottle to four as well. Just in case. Because I have a feeling I'm gonna run into some fucking nasty shit in here. I will um, be saving. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> Scratch on the hunt. Scratch stalked through the forest, a terrifying dark presence in the night, more sensed than seen. Darkness boiled in his skull like a storm cloud crammed in a bottle. Woods were alive with those he had taken. They were coming with him, directed by him. His army of darkness, his singular purpose was a sharp, pulsing black hole in his head, waves roaring out of it to whip his flock into a frenzy, filling them with his purpose. The clicker. He wanted it to make his horrific ending to the story come true. The art was there. The art was there. The clicker would push it across the final threshold, a detonator to send out a tidal wave that would spread to overtake reality. He was so close to claiming it. 
The taking gibbered and shouted, straining against their invisible lash leashes, filled with bloodlust, Scratch let them go. They launched themselves into the night with violent glee. He ripped a signpost from the ground, swung it in his hand as if it was made of air. Ahead, the music started. It called him on. Let the final deer fest commence. Oh boy. Okay. Well, let's get into the fucking festivities, shall we? Hello? Anyone here? Nope. Did they get out? Did the Taken get them? Probably, or that just... Or were they turned into Taken? Let's say, yeah, that... I'll need to get the key to the trailer park myself. Probably just turned into Taken. Ilmo said the key is kept in the gift shop safe. Nothing. Okay. Or if I can play any Coffee World games. Let's get in here. Gift shop. Cool. Don't scare me. Whoa. Damn. So cool. Latte Lagoon. Locked. Shit. Need something to jimmy it open with. Okay. Something to jimmy it open, eh? That is not good sounds, I'm hearing. Another cult box. Only striped cups. Only striped cups, eh? Okay. Can I ride? Go for a ride? Oh, one? Oh, good lord. Okay. Uh, four. What's this one? Seven. There we go. And, hey, nice. Do not take what is not yours. Well, hey, look, buddy. I unlocked it. It's mine now, okay? Savvy? What is that? It's like fucking screaming sounds. Jesus. What does it say? What the fuck? All the toilets are out of order. Get your shit together. <laughs> Get your shit together so I can shit. It's very important. It's very, very vital that I have a place to poop. Especially amongst all the terror. Sure, take it. Good lord. <laughs> it's just a porta potty. Like, good lord. How out of order can it be? That is the Ferris wheel creaking. It's not fucking people screaming. I'm dumb. A percolator. Oh boy. Oh, you want to take a photo? They're like photo mode, I wonder. It doesn't tell me. Shit. A well-lit gazebo. This bodes well. Cones. Flare. No, arrows. Okay, bolts, I mean. Can you get me? Oh, boy. A lot to look at. I'll ride the cups and get sick as hell. Oh, there's an empty. More bolts. Hey, moose guy. Shit. There's so many different fucking areas to go. Oh. This is not good for my brain. The Huatari Well, dwelling place of the evil water spirit, the Naki, orders people to watery graves. Ilmari murdered his own brother. The gruesome acts. Ilmari murdered his own brother. Came to light with the madness of the spirit of Naki possessing Ilmari. Ilmo and Ilmari, that seems kind of, uh, I 
A stash back here. No entry. Can't be opened on this side. Oh, it's his uh biker place. Okay. Oh. What's to say? What hides behind the smile? A key? All right, let's find uh, the smile. A fuse is missing. Can't operate the ride without it. Bummer. Okay. Need a fuse. Cool. Well, let's head. Oh, there's the smile. When you ask. Marisetta will speak. Okay. One morning during Coffee World's construction, a wounded moose. Shelter and fresh pot gift shop. I just need a coffee break. Brewing up some coffee with oil finance. Before the first cup was poured, the moose appeared drawn by delicious aroma. In exchange for a steaming mug of what is now known as Mocha's Signature Blend. Huh. Mocha is around six years old. Did you know moose can live up to 25 years? 820 pounds. Largest species of deer in the world. Mocha loves to swim. Can dive up to 20 feet. Damn. Mocha's only known moose with a caffeine addiction. Yeah? Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. That's a big pot of coffee. Alright. It's like the Kool-Aid man, but just, you know, coffee pot. Uh... Wait. Uh. No. Hey, look at that. Go. Oh. What's it say? Me and MNT were supposed to be on patrol last night, but didn't show. If anyone hears anything, anything from them, let me know. Sure. Take it all. Go to the cups. I wonder if I can just yank a fuse out of the cups. And put it in the the other one. Nothing. Balloon pop. Two dollars, five bolts. Hit a balloon to win. Well, I don't know why I couldn't pick that other one up. Weird. All right. Okay. You know. Did I win? Yeah, bet I can take a fuse out of that one. Jesus. Oh, hi. Calm down, Saga. It's just a pot of coffee. Yeah, with a Weird ass fucking laugh. What the fuck? Oh, wait. What's that? Oh, it's just a recording. Of have a brutal day. So fucking creepy. What the fuck? Oh, boy. I wonder what happens if I pop all the balloons in here. I wonder if that's a thing. That's how my brain works. Latte Lagoon. Nothing at Latte Lagoon right now. I think it's probably too flooded. Yeah, okay. Alright, let's finally go to the fucking cups. My goddamn scatterbrained shit. I apologize. Let's go to the Percolator. Shut up. What the fuck? <laughs> that laughing in the distance, man. That's oh. Oh shit! Oh goddamn! You motherfucker! Hey, 
buddy. All right, you're next, pal. You dead? Oh shit. Oh. Are you dead? Yeah, <laughs> I think he's dead. <laughs> he's percolating. Okay. Oh shit. He is percolating. Yeah. Always good to have a screwdriver. Oh nice. Can I have a fuse? That'd be nice. Now maybe I can open more shit. What kind of exercise does coffee do? French presses. Oh my god. French presses. Clever. Okay. Maybe they're, say, fuck, what do I know? Maybe it's a fucking. Okay. Well, oh, damn. That is strong. Let's go back to the coffee shop real quick and jimmy that door open. Bitch. Oh, you're a sprinter, eh? Oh boy. Oh. Some of them have shields, some of them do. Yep, good job, Saga. We gotta open this bad boy. A list of maintenance work. Coffee world insurance sign defaced, clean with detergent, wax sign should be good. Voluntary new latte lagoon, several burned out bulbs, a percolator. A screwdriver. Huh. Oh, well. <laughs> Didn't see that. Oh, damn. So can I just pop locks with this thing? Okay. Don't have to have a key. Now, where is that safe? At least I can go back to Cauldron Lake now. Ooh, manuscript. Let's see. Smiled until... Sorry, we're out of Bright Falls Blend. I'll just grab some from the back. More coffee coming rag it up. She suggested they ride the percolator while they waited. She passed Ilmo at the express. Big smile, Anna. Coffee world is all smiles. Anna nodded, smiled. She smiled until her face hurt. Anna stopped the walking, realized she was standing next to the Huatori well. Must have zoned out, she thought. She was about to go, but something caught her eye in the well. Shadow shifted in the dark. Anna was overcome by vertigo. World titted and she was falling upside down. Down, 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 into the shaft. The darkness opened up and swallowed her. All right, let's take care of some of this shit. No, right, so let's go here. Lunchbox at Watery. Let's see, Coffee World. Coffee World, the most caffeinated place on Earth. Yeah. And yet nobody's here to help me get that key. Well, I don't need anyone. Using screwdrivers to break into gift shops isn't exactly standard procedure. Hey, but it works, right? That's all that matters. There we go. Let's go ahead and fucking get all that shit out the way. Hey, Ilmo, heads up. Got another angry voicemail from a parent about her kid poking himself in the eye with one of the souvenir goes. Whose grand idea was it to sell plastic knives in a coffee-themed amusement park anyway? Oh, right. It was yours. Jeff, I need another moose favor. Mocha was doing just fine. He even got a glowing vet report and then bam. They say it was a heart attack. I'm not blaming you. Maybe he just had a bad ticker. No tolerance for stimulants either. I'm telling the kids that Mocha's taking a little vacation, but I could really use your help ASAP to maintain continuity. Have any more in stock? Thanks in advance. Ilmo. <laughs> your fucking moose had a heart attack because it drinks so much coffee? 
Locked. Why did you change the damn password okay. to safe again? I thought it was what a would Ilmo use for code? Somewhere. Who hurt you? Why are you so paranoid, Jacko? Calm down, this one's easy. Tracker, lookout, cleaner. See? Not rocket science. Tracker, lookout, cleaner. Okay. Huh. Coffee World staff. Hope they're not all monsters now. Oh. The photos have stickers on them. Congratulations. Remember to bring your liability forms Tuesday to bring your dog to Coffee World Day. Congratulations, Thomas, for completing his first year at Coffee World. As usual, this work anniversary earns a free pack of freshly ground coffee. Percolator is unfortunately undergoing maintenance. All right, let's see. Uh, janitor, so cleaner. He's got, what, six beans on him? Uh, security, I'm guessing, is lookout. Tracker. Lost and found. One, two, six. Wait, no, wait, wait. One, two, one, four, six. My apologies. Let's see if that works. Let's see if that works. One, four, six. It did. Okay, cool. Give me the, the key. keys to my trailer. Now to find the clicker and the colt. Hey, look at there. Gotta investigate my trailer. Now, is there a fucking fuse in here? There's not a fuse in here. Ah, oh, shit. I don't know, but I need to save. I'm gonna have to cut this uh, episode out off real quick because I'm almost. I'm going on. Shit, going on two hours. There we go. That one worked. Got a feeling that stuff might be for later, so for now, let's just run up to the lighthouse. There might be a safe point there, and I can go ahead and end this part. Just gonna split it into two parts. So this will be like. Yeah. Okay, cool. Like part fucking seven and eight. It's gonna have to be. All right, well, hope you guys all enjoyed this episode. If you're enjoying the series, please leave a like on the videos. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like uh, for more Alan Wake 2, as I will be continuously posting these at least one video a week. I got two videos last week, so we'll, uh, we'll just keep powering through it and see where it takes us. So, yeah, for now, uh, you guys have a wonderful day, and I'm going to give Saga a much-deserved rest. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.